I don't know. So, some of my subscribers may think I'm really onto these electric trucks, but it's not just, uh, you know, that I'm not a seller, guys. I love it. Um, I'm excited about it. And I have, I'm ready to argue about anything, too, because I want to know how long it takes to charge up the trucks. Because I'll tell you what, going to a fuel island is not as fast as people do. So it's a good argument to have there. Yep. Okay, so so I'll go ahead and take this one. For for the VNR electric, right? Uh, you can essentially uh, charge up your, your four battery pack within an hour, 60 minutes, mm -hmm. um, or your six battery pack with, you know, within 90 minutes. And that's assuming that you have a 250 kilowatt charger. So one of the, you know, for your audience, the higher your charging capability, the shorter your recharge time is, right? Because it's just more power going back into these batteries. You know, one of the things a few conversations ago that, that Nikki brought up is what customers are doing is, well, what, what, what I'm seeing in terms of a trend, right? They're, they're investing in their own charging stations and they're doing it at night, right? But there's also a concept called opportunity charging. And we all do this actually. So think of, you know, think of your truck the same as your phone, right? If you're in between in between flights and you see you have 40%, hey, I'm going to charge up my phone yeah. knowing that I have a next flight going on, right? That's that's a fancy way of saying opportunity charging. And people are doing that with their trucks too. Nice. So 90 minutes. Honestly, at a fuel island, it does take uh, uh, quite a while because there's so many trucks. Okay. Uh, being electric is going to be, you might be one of the only ones. Uh, going in, right. it's so new. So, I like the idea of that too. And no argument and there. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. Time is You'll, money, Jose. Time is money. Yes. And You'll, once uh, you go electric, you never go back. And a lot of people also tend to think, hey, charging a truck is different from just charging in general. Uh, mm -hmm. Just last month, I was in Orlando, Florida for TMC, the technical maintenance conference, and I needed to charge my truck before the show. So, I drove that thing to the Florida Mall parked it right next to some Tesla, some Nissan Leafs and things of that sort. And, and I just charged it right there. So, you know, you can leverage your same public charging infrastructure, right? Whenever you need it. If you get in a pinch and you can't make it to your own home base operations and things of that sort. So I really wanted to kind of just put the plug that it's no different from, from the EV cars that, that people are using for their personal use. There's a lot of, you know, as we've heard probably in the news, the Biden administration investing billions of dollars in infrastructure, a lot of that money is gonna go into building a huge network of chargers across our nation. So just because we can't see it there today, doesn't mean it won't be here shortly. Um, and when I think about, you know, electrification for fleets, a lot of the biggest big name fleets that you can think of, um, I won't name them here, but all the big ones, they've been trying electric trucks for a long time. Um, they've been trying all of the, the sort of pilot and demo units. They've been giving feedback to the OEMs to make them better. Now those trucks are available for prime time, but the only people who haven't yet had a chance to get their hands on them are the small fleets. Mm -hmm. And the small fleets make up 75% of trucking. So like if we really want to get trucking converted, we have to make sure now that small fleets are learning what's available because the big fleets being having more money, they got to kind of jump on the learning <laughs> curve here. They, they're a little bit ahead of us on this, but we can make up the difference because now we've got the, the funding, we've got the infrastructure coming, and we've got all of these great manufacturers making really beautiful trucks that are available to buy right now from any dealer.